Hello, hello, folks. How are we all doing today on this weekend? Everyday Bear here. Hope you're all doing okay. So today we are doing a sponsored stream of Elemental Survivors. So thank you to Summer B Games and Key Mailer for giving us the key. Let me just drop that information in chat as well. Make sure that's all up to code. Okay, that's in. Hey, Rainbow, welcome in. How are you doing? You came in at a good time. We're just starting. So this is Elemental Survivors. This is um, auto-attacking roguelike RPG. You know, the sort of thing Survivors games. We enjoy those on this channel. It's sort of um, old school JRPG flavored, which caught my interest. And it's made by Samobi Games, who are a wife-wife team building games in the chilly north of British Columbia in Canada. So without further ado, let's dig into it. So what we got? Oh, okay. Let's start off on the default one. Let's see what we got going on. So let's do Hrist the Valkyrie. She's really cool. <laughs> okay, so we've got a map that looks like it unlocks as well. Interesting. This place is green and lovely. Green glades, here we go. Ooh, what's that arrow at the side? Oh, we have expert difficulty. That might be a bit much for us at the start. Hey, Skylocker, welcome in. Oh, I see. So this little grey arrow that we've got going on here looks like it relates to aiming. Okay, so we can increase hit points and ice element damage. Or oh, ice spikes target random enemy. Okay, so I'm assuming this bit on the left here is the ability that we can take. So given that the character increases ice element, let's go for ice spike. So what else have we got? Okay, we've got the slash attack as well. So that is strength based. And we've got character stats on the left here, looks like. So we're mostly a strength based character, but uh, we've got some dexterity and luck and stuff going on as well. Let's, okay, that's nice. So we've got a little bit of um, indication that stuff works with skills that we've taken. Let's check it on chat. Cheat Switch says, is aiming something you have control over? Or is it automated? It looks like this character at least. Um, as far as I can tell, I'm aiming it. Let me just test that. So if I'm aiming straight down, the enemies are at the top. Yeah, it's aimed. Okay, there's a little exclamation mark down at the bottom right here. So I'm going to see what's going on down there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Is this a power-up thing? Or if I step over it? Oh, we have a village. Okay, so we have a choice of party members. That's interesting. So I'm trying to remember what our ice attack did. Can I see? No, that's a shame. 
Okay. Heal over time sounds good. But then we've also got increased walking speed. I'm gonna have to go with shooting next shoot. <laughs> Okay, so the Ice Spike attack is magic based and the main attack, I think, is strength. I see, the range does decks. Okay. Is there a way of seeing everything? Not that I can see. Curious if we can get stats of um, what character stats are needed for each skill on the screen. Not a deal breaker. I like the snakes, they're very wiggly. <laughs> So it looks like I need to hit those candles to get what's in them. I want my XP. <laughs> Can I leap round and get it? So the slash attack is strength and the ice spike is magic. So in hindsight, the ranger was probably not the best pick, but we're learning. Although now we've got a dexterity increase as well. Interesting. So I'm curious whether these stats do anything outside of the skills. I click on them. No. That's something we'll have to look into. A boss has spawned. That's a that's a big old snake. He's he's not gonna fight me one on one. <laughs> well, two on one, I suppose, because we got party, but Okay, let's increase our spike. Oh, ouch, magic five. Yeah, that's like a second lowest stat. I've picked an interesting build to start with. <laughs> Point sounds good. <laughs> so I don't believe this game has technically come out yet. I think we took a look at it during Next Fest. My understanding is this version has uh, a little bit more testing stuff going on. Okay. Ah, good. Strength boost. That sounds good. It is indeed a whopper snake. <laughs> You're the correct Skylarker. Oh, getting stuck in the mountains. Okay, the good news is we got the boss. The bad news is the loot is covered in bad guys. The other bad news is, another boss has spawned. <laughs> okay, I'm wondering if I can take a long route. Oh, it's not looking good for our heroes. 
can I snag these mobs behind this mountain? And then make a dive for the treasure? Oh, I'm gonna try it! <laughs> okay, let's go with more slash attack. Let's see what we got. Okay, leveled up slash attack. attack speed. We need to get some clearance here. We're going to get so swarmed. We're running on fumes already. Looks like there's another exclamation mark to the south. So I'm going to strategically run away from the boss and see what's going on down there. Okay, it looks like the boss teleports maybe? Attack speed is required. Come on! It's almost over. Come on! Oh! oh. <laughs> okay, what we got going on? Okay, so there's 20 waves. We got up almost to seven. Not a bad start. And looks like we got some coins. Okay, we've unlocked Ramar the Ranger. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna boost attack speed. Can't afford any more yet. It's one of the interesting things here is we can change the soundtrack. So let's try this one. Let's try E pop. Let's do another wave. Uh, okay, it costs coins to unlock as well. That's okay. Let's go with Crystal next. Let's just test everything out. She heals, but she never forgets. <laughs> uh, you notice uh, I I've integrated Buttspot into the chat. Okay, back to the green glades. Spot automatically uh, looks at chat and randomly uh, replaces words with but. <laughs> okay, so this character is all spirit stats. Bit of luck, the other one's not so good. So strength, bad idea. Magic, bad idea. So, let's go with just increasing the character level. Oh, excellent. So the attack here is like um, an area of effect around the character. That's one of my favourite things in these sorts of games. So we do not want more strength attacks. So we're just going to level the character up again. I'm digging the soundtrack. This one's good. Ah, okay, so now we've got a spirit-based second attack. That sounds great. And we have an exclamation mark to the north. 
Okay, so... Cecil the Paladin increases Holy Ring damage, chance to block attacks, and increases magic and spirit. That sounds great. I mean, I want to take the bear, but... <laughs> We'll come back for you, Kuma-san. <laughs> Let's go with Cecil for now. Hmm. I gotcha. Let's increase the size of that ring attack. Curious what happens if I visit village again. Nope, no chance, no joy. <laughs> so, I see. So here is the was that one, two, three, four, five, six maximum level. So I click on this, it should go up to five. Yep. This is a Sills attack. No, I see it works with Cecil. Okay, let's let's focus on leveling up the main characters, and then we'll move on to the skills. We wonder if you can get more party members later on. I'll have to check that upgrade system. Mm. Okay. Yep, we've max boosted the cleric. This strat seems to be working pretty well for us. So we're halfway up to max level on Cecil. Cecil? That's the one. <laughs> okay, we got an equipment shop. So increased chance to block damage, increased coin value, or increased luck stat. Um, don't feel we're doing too bad. I'm going to go with coin value, because I want to see how much we can unlock today. We are here to explore mechanics. Oh, that, that boss is going down way, way faster than before. Interesting. So the top right, we've got the logbook. That can be leveled as well. But... Uh, I'm going to carry on upgrading Holy Ring. So boss loot levels up to seal again. Far we off. That's level five of six. 
Oh wow, we're only up to like wave five as well. I feel like we're doing better this run. Do -do -do -do. More holy ring boost. Oh yeah, that's way bigger than when we started. That's a seal all max leveled. Chat seems to be enjoying the music. I would agree. <laughs> okay, reduce cooldown time. Lovely. You know the builds we like to do on this channel, it's all about the attack speed. <laughs> I always feel, oh, one sec, more holy ring. If I have a choice of like, just trying to figure out the math. Uh, yep, yeah, more cool down time. One attack that does 10 damage, or 10 attacks that do one damage, like, in a game where you're fighting hordes most of the time, then those 10 attacks that do 1 damage are always going to be more useful. At least in my opinion. Plus 1 ring. Interesting. Oh, I see. Because, like, if you're fighting a boss 1-on-1, -on -one, then those 10 attacks are still going to do 10 damage. And not back speed. Interesting. We haven't leveled Holy Strike up much. Then again, I kind of want to see what happens if we max this out, whether anything happens. Oh, cool, we got some Holy Strike up anyway. Nice, nice. More cooldown time. So that area attack is huge, and like the time it takes them to walk into it, like the more hits we get, the better. This build is good. Okay, that is fully leveled. Is it my imagination or does it look sparkly now? <laughs> okay, let's start leveling up Holy Strike. to pick up all this XP that's laying around. <laughs> when we're doing so well, I'm tempted to start leveling up the logbook to get more power for the next run, but... We're doing so well, I don't want to, like, get too cocky. <laughs> Yeah, it does show the synergies while you're leveling up. It's a, it's a nice touch. It feels nice and accessible, but it feels like there's room to expand the mechanics. The 
carry on maxing out the skills. Okay, we've gone way past the first run now. Approaching wave 10. Maximum level holy strike. I think we've leveled up all the attacks we can this run. Hopefully, it'll be enough to get us through the next 10 waves. Yeah, it's leveling up logbook now. That's fine. And I think we made... I think Zill is the currency? I think we made like 44 last time. So, I feel like this logbook is definitely having an effect. I assume that's a healing potion up there. Yeah, it's not doing anything because we're already on max health. Nothing's even reaching us now. <laughs> Just check in on chat. Cheapsuit says makes makes me want to play another run through Princess Farmer. Yeah, I think that was another game by Sam maybe. I think you're right. Oh, two bosses at once. They know we're overpowered. <laughs> Spot on fire already. <laughs> will it blend? Will it, but Boss did indeed lens, and we did indeed kick its butt. Very pleasant. Oh my goodness, how much cash do we have, chat? It's like almost two five hundred. We are definitely gonna be able to unlock some more stuff on the next run. Most monsters aren't even really getting very deep into the attack before they're just getting eliminated. And I 
could pretty much just hang out and pick up the cash every now and again. Over two five hundred. what's happening now at max level because it's saying that I'm leveling up but uh, I don't know whether that's giving us cash or healing or whether it's just letting us know that we leveled again. I don't think it's gold. My XP bar is going up so fast. So, what's that? Almost level 48? Into the blender you go. <laughs> that holy strike isn't anything to sniff at either. Looks like there's another boss coming up. There we go, boss spawned. Not bad, not bad, we're chipping away at it. Got it. There we go. Level fifty one now. Wonder if it's doing anything to the stats. We're on eighteen spirit. At level fifty one, no. No, I think we've leveled up everything we can. Just surviving to the end and seeing how much gold we can pick up along the way. I'm wondering whether we're going to be able to pick up more equipment slots and more skill slots. Oh, another boss incoming. Oh, are the hit points going up, cheap streets? Probably on 262 hit points. You're right. It's 266 now. So the max hit points are very slowly going up. But it's like there's something, you know, a reward for over leveling. Approaching the end of this run, I think. It's 
almost at 19, 20 coming up. We are, oh my goodness, over 5,000 zil. I think that logbook was a good investment. <laughs> Ultimate boss, I think. Oh, it's running away from us. <laughs> it's very wise. I, I would run away from me too. <laughs> Pretty much everything that we can level has been leveled. He's shooting at us. There we go. Come on out, final boss. I don't think this is the final, final one. I think we're going to end up with two bosses at once. This one's taking a little while. I want those coins. Being sneaky Skylarker. <laughs> oh, area bus spawned. I think that's the last one. I'm hopeful. Let's see if we can take this guy out before we move on to the final boss. Okay. Yeah, they're getting quite chewy now. Oh, we actually took damage then. I'm not sure that's allowed, chat. <laughs> In goes the Holy Strike. Getting shot at. Okay, that's interesting. I wonder why that suddenly popped up. Okay, let's add Zill. I don't think we need the hit points right now. say always add till just in case things go south yeah this one's tough <laughs> I think we'll be okay. I don't want to jinx it though. <laughs> do, 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 do. What's that? Last fifth? 20% left? Oh, those monsters feel like they're getting a bit tougher. 
I'm still holding them off, okay? Little bit more, little bit more. Hey, we did it, chat. <laughs> we defeated the Naga Guardian. That's a nice touch. Let's see our progress at the bottom. Nice, nice. Interesting. Okay. So yeah, we maxed out logbook, holy ring, holy strike. Seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-three zil. And we've unlocked Cecile. Okay, let's unlock the characters first. Then let's check out the upgrades. So, attacks, equips. Thank you for the GGs. Party members. Okay, this is all the good stuff up here. And let's take another party member. Then, what else do we have? Coins worth more. Okay, so these are quite incremental upgrades here. That's like 100% to 102%. And... More combo hits. What the heck is a combo hit? More projectiles. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna go for the more projectiles. And let's boost. I'm half tempted to keep this. Because, I mean, we can get more of these later on. Let's try it. Okay, so we've done Hrist the Valkyrie and Crystal the Cleric. I think it's time for Hero the Hero. They have the JRPG hair and a magic fireball, so... What are we looking at? Dexterity... Dexterity is the highest stat. They have a magic attack. Magic is second highest. Okay, so some of this is coming soon. And... We've got some more areas. This looks like the next lowest. Defeat the basic boss goblin. Okay, so you can see what the unlocks are as well. So if I go back to Green Glades, then we've got another three to unlock here. Including the bear, of course. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm torn, chat. I'm torn. If we run out of characters, then I will go back and unlock the bear. But let's try out the snow wastes. I'm being very disciplined. <laughs> Okay, this is an auto attack. So they're not all aimed. And that seems like a good choice of skill there. More magic attacks. I should have changed the soundtrack as well. <laughs> I will do that next time round. And... Do we have rerolls? Interesting. No, pressing one. Always oh, see it's Y button for rerolls. The one key changes the soundtrack. I got it now.
Just wanted to see how the reroll mechanic works. <laughs> Ah, excellent. We can... Hmm. My mouse died. It's very strange. I only changed the batteries on the mouse, like, last night. I did it in advance. Someone's very kindly bought me new batteries. One second, chat. Just do that whilst I check these out. So we can... Okay, we've got magic lance as well. So that's a lance that you can swing around. Disappears when enemy pierced. That sounds... Hey, the mouse is back. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can just use the keys as well. It looks like W and S. And then I assume space select. Yes, it does. Okay, so... Oh, that's interesting. So Magic Lance looks like it's an aimed attack. You can actually, like, wave it round. That looks like party members to me. Okay, so Cecile... Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so Galadar... That would be an unlock that we don't have. And he increases the size of our magic lance. Also, he tough. I mean, since they both use Magic Lance now, that seems like a good thing to boost. Yeah, he comes with his own Mini Lance. Which looks like we aim that as well. Interesting. gonna max out magic lance this time. So I think the last run we were focusing on leveling up the characters, so we'll try the other way around this time. Another exclamation mark up, more lance please. really have much in the way of dexterity based attacks. Increase damage versus bosses. That sounds great. Mm, yeah, more lance. More lance and then we level up Galatar and we make it bigger. And then we wave it around like we just don't care. Yeah, I think when we checked out, um, we checked this one out very briefly during Next Fest. But obviously that week was so busy, like we processed so many demos that week. It's really nice to have the opportunity to just sit down for a couple of hours and uh, chew into this. Oh, 
<laughs> Chief Street says, get lanced. <laughs> Looks like we got some different enemy types as well. These little mage dudes that are shooting us. Get lanced! <laughs> Oh, another party member incoming, looks like. Can I go in the water? No. Interesting. So strength, strength, dex, we use. Um, gonna try revolving that if I can. <laughs> Ooh, always oh, should have kept before. Okay. In the interest of unlocking more characters. I'm gonna go for Gogan. It's not the best tactical choice, but in hindsight, I shouldn't have rerolled. <laughs> Rerolling always a bit of a gamble. tougher now. Yeah, we are not making nearly as much zeal as we were before. Uh, more round cell. It's boss time. What can we do in there? Not too bad. Oh, lads! <laughs> oh, we got three unlocks this time. So, Magic Fireball, Ram's Helm, and more Galadar. Nice, nice. Have we maxed out Lance? No, we've got one more to go. And there we go, now it's maxed out. And blah, 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 blah. Let's go more round time, actually. My Lance is enormous! <laughs> Increase it, Galatar! <laughs> Is it just my imagination or is Galadar's lance getting bigger as well? That sounded looter than I intended. <laughs> um, hmm. Chance for bleed status. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to take the bear. I can't turn down the bear the second time, chap. <laughs> Okay, let's level up the magic attacks. So the yellow exclamation march I think is the equipment shop. So block damage, increase luck. Let's go with more logbook. I need more skills. 
More party members. More of the good stuff. I should probably level these guys up as well, actually. So, Galadar's fully leveled. I haven't got many levels in Hero yet, actually. soon, I think. Yeah, Kuma still increases pickup radius. Just want to make sure we actually get through this run, if we can. Ram's Helm since the boss is right here. Yeah, I think we used up all of our slots. So now it's just levelling them out. What we got? Whoa! Five unlocks, nice! So, Magic Missile, Ram's Helm, Magic Fireball, Gogan, and more Logbook. And let's go more Fireball. Oh, they're shooting back. And let's go more Kumason. Go for that pickup radius. Can you do me a favour? Can you take a look on the Steam page and tell me if there's a release date and whether it's early access? I'm pretty sure I know, but I want to double check the facts before I say. Thank you very much, Cheap Sweets. So yeah, no release date for this yet. Don't know if there's still a demo up. I know there was on Next Fest. Cheap Sweets, is the demo still up on that? Cheap Sweets says yes, there is a demo still up. Excellent. So. If you fancy trying it out at home, you can. And the plan is it's going to be in early access between 6 and 12 months. Have I got that right? And we'll fireball. Glad I got it right. <laughs> oh, we got another boss. Whoa, the damage! Nice. 
Nice. So, I mean, there's still room for this to grow then. More of the good stuff. More magic missile. Another boss gone down. Hero all max leveled. On level 12. Don't know whether it's 20 waves again, actually. That's an interesting point. It might be more waves. Maybe the same amount of waves. Only one way to find out. Okay, so just gotten past a thousand zil. Doesn't feel like we've made as much as last time, but then we haven't gotten all the way to the end yet. I'm gonna start increasing the logbook. Sanabi Games, welcome in! Oh no, it's ha happy you've turned up. I appreciate you dropping in. Well, thank you very much again for the opportunity. We have been having a good time waving our lances around and, uh, like, we just don't care. <laughs> okay, let's do more logbook. I'm also delighted to report that we've unlocked the bear. <laughs> Home questions. I don't know whether chat has any questions. The main question I have is, um, I don't know whether there's a release date on the horizon. Ah, yes, Buttspot. You know, I, I added Buttspot to uh, chat literally just before the stream. He's been, uh, he's been working hard. <laughs> oh, we're definitely unleashing the bear next time. <laughs> to 15. Yeah, let's go with more logbook. I want to get more unlocks for the next run. I don't think we're doing too bad. I haven't taken much damage. But yeah, hoping you're doing okay on this Saturday. It is very hot here in the UK. I don't know if it's the same in Canada. <laughs> Ooh, we've almost, we've almost leveled everything. Okay, expert difficulty makes it more chaotic. Interesting. Interesting. I will give expert mode a go on the next run then. Uh, supposed to be cold but hotter than expected. Hmm, that sounds familiar. <laughs> Okay, let's get some more Zill going. We're not doing too bad on health. Let's 
some of you says. Charlene loves expert mode. I'm a bit more of an easy mode girl. No, I can take it. I mean, I was, um, I played a little bit of this on um, Next Fest. And I felt like I didn't really like have enough time to explore everything because, oh, we did so many games over Next Fest. It was unreal. But um, I seem to recall those saying at the time, it's, it's nice that there's like more of it's nice that the game has accessibility. Like, I feel like you could introduce this to most people and they wouldn't get, like, walled straight away. But there's, like, a lot of room to grow. And I am all up for more games like that. Okay. Hang on there. Press escape. You're ahead of me, so... Change the mini disc from the menu. Do, do, do. Is that M? I'm being dense, aren't I? Select music. There we go. Ah, excellent. I, I always have uh, room in the roster for, you know, games that focus on accessibility. So I feel that, you know, if you can have both, why not? I think sometimes when genres get very, very established, people sort of forget what it's like to be, you know, new or, you know, and obviously, you know, just like physical accessibility as well. You know, I do my best with the channel. We've got, um, I've got a plugin that um, does subtitles through Twitch, which I'm very happy with. But always happy to hear more suggestions. You know, I try and get um, photo sensitivity warnings up as well if I like to know, but obviously you can't always tell when you're playing a game blind. Yeah, there are so many variations on this genre now. I know when, um, I mean, Vampire Survivors wasn't even the first one, but, uh, you know, when Vampire Survivors came out, you know, oh, you know, it's a fad, and, but there's always room to explore stuff. We've played a lot of um, Roach and Easier on the channel. I don't know if you're familiar with that one. A uh, little bit of Soulstone Survivors as well. And um, what's the other one that's gone down well? Aside from this one, of course. <laughs> uh, Nordic Ashes. Oh, Halls of Torment. I haven't. I have not had a chance to check that one out yet. I ran out of pocket money. <laughs> well, you know, personal money. With the, the Steam sale hit me pretty hard this year. <laughs> this season, rather. There's always a Steam sale on the horizon. <laughs> okay. I, I, I will push that one towards the top of the wish list then. Thank you for the heads up. So much sale! <laughs> Oh wow, we're almost at the end as well. Yeah, 
nice looking better. Ooh, okay. You're doing a secret menu system inspired by Hall's Torment. Interesting. Let's be having you. Where's the boss hiding? There we go. Showtime. Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, not bad damage. Not bad. Oh, that wasn't even the final boss. Oh! <laughs> Is that three bosses at once? Form up in an orderly queue to get lanced. <laughs> mm, yeah, it was. I'm not doing too bad. Taking a few hits. What is this about? Oh, I see XP magnet. I think we've tried Christ. First run didn't go too well. Then we tried the cleric. This is our third run. So we're looking for two out of three. Ah, I see that's a wild effect. So is that the fire symbol? We did it again, chap! <laughs> okay, everything maxed out. Goblin Guardian defeated. And 6,222 sil. Thank you for the GGs. We've unlocked Galadar. We've unlocked Gogan. And we've unlocked Kumasan. Okay, thinking caps on. Can they go for more attacks, I think? And let's go for the combo hits. Actually, some of the game sits here in. I'm curious what the combo mechanic is about. Let's take that up to one. I couldn't quite figure that one out. See more pages. Yay, we got enough to unlock everything. Ah, more of an indication of what they are in the next build. <laughs> See the space then. <laughs> Watch the space rather. Don't mind me. My head is uh, all over the place today. I am so warm. <laughs> I gotcha. Projectiles affect things like Fireball, Larrows, Holy Strikes. Combos affect things like Slash, Brutal, String, Broad Strike. Okay. Oh, wow. There is quite a lot of depth going on then. Cool. Okay. What did we say we were going to do? We were going to go with Kuma-san. Let's try the Haunted Forest. Let's try expert difficulty. <laughs> Bear Claw is also affected by combos. Excellent. Good timing then. Okay, so is this also aiming? Get back here. <laughs> Okay then, so this is a strength-based character. Bleed chance on strength-based attacks. 
So another strength attack sounds like a good time. Ah, yes, Cheap Sweets has played Princess Farmer. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. So spirit, spirit. Okay, let's boost King Sun again. Ah, reverse. <laughs> okay, knockback sounds good. They're actually starting to hurt us. Okay, let's go with more character level. Yeah, I am definitely more in runaway mode on this. Oof. Uh, more attack speed sounds great. <laughs> Uh, yep. I'm getting a l many strength based attacks coming up yet, but looks like we've got a party unlock. And... Oh boy. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Oh, I see. There was that bleed attack came up. Yeah. Slash attack. Yes. That sounds good. Oh, it's not looking good for our hero. Okay, re-rolls are for each menu. That is good to know. Thank you very much. So I'm curious, is expert mode more for um, when you've leveled up your stats a bit? Or does it scale to like any level? Okay, let's go for more attack speed. I feel that's what got me. Let's get some move speed as well. Actually, okay, we've unlocked everything in Green Glades. Me out. What do I see? There we go. I thought we did lost sounds. I gotcha. Troy Grasslands with Expert. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Green Glades. <laughs> okay, let's give that a go. Yeah, that feels a bit better. <laughs> Aha! Another strength based attack. Huge sword, big hits. That sounds like a plan. Oh, 
Ooh, the swish. I like it. Party member up. Ooh, that's reroll time. And bu -bu -bu -bum. let's go for brutal swing. Get another strength based attack unlocked. Let's see, who we've got. Just gonna grab a slug of drink. Remember to hydrate, chat. <laughs> Increases strength based attack size. That sounds good. We're getting all the inside info, chap. <laughs> the Summer Bee Games says with the new Bear Claw, the attack targets each nearest enemy in the chain until the combo count runs out. Ooh, ooh, that sounds good. Okay, let's go with more Bear Claw. And that update will be out on Friday. Excellent. Yeah, chat's been enjoying this one. The music is lovely. I, I feel like we will definitely be checking out some of the updates on stream. On. Ah, adding more mini discs. Ah, interesting. Yeah, I noticed there was something in the menu that said that like you could unlock some more. I was curious whether that was in yet. Oh, I'm getting swarmed. And more Kimis on. Sounds good. Make a run for it. How ah, we'll be on the secrets menu. I gotcha. On, I don't think we're going to make it. <laughs> I may not be at my sharpest today, chat. I seem to have uh, picked up some sort of... Uh... Ah! <laughs> Expert might be beyond us today. But yeah, I've picked up some sort of um, dreadful stomach infection. I was actually in the hospital this morning. <laughs> but the show must go on. <laughs> Okay, let's take more damage. Okay, let's try that again. Let's do the Haunted Forest, but let's do that on basic. It's alright, I've been checked out. I'm, I'm all okay, but uh, I've been told to put up my feet up for a week. <laughs> They're keeping an eye on me. Slash attack. So let's change the music as well. Now that we've got the inside info on how to do that, let's go back to Wee Pop. Okay, let's take the axes. Oh, 
Okay, we get a lot of strength attacks this time around. That's a good start. Radius sounds good right now. Okay, so some of the game says for some of the unlockable characters, you need to have certain things equipped before they're offered in the towns. Secrets menu will give you the info. Okay, I will keep an eye out for that on Friday then. And let's go for more board strike. Yeah, let's go for the cooldown. Okay, let's go for Gloom, because strength-based. Actually, that was another thing we were curious about earlier. Um, the stats. Do they have any effects on anything outside of skills? Ah, they do, okay. Uh, attack speed sounds good. Move speed is based on dexterity. Interesting. Yeah, we couldn't find anything in the game around the beginning. I don't know where that stuff's written down. is based on dexterity, but that sounds like it's going to change later. Yeah, hover tooltips would be amazing, actually. Yeah, more there. Yeah, I was kind of like clicking around here going, ah, it's something. <laughs> Okay, so luck affects things like how many things you're offered in menus, chests, drop chances. I gotcha. combo hits. I see. Okay, what we got? More projectiles, increased damage versus bosses. Gonna go with Ram's Helm again. Okay, so plans to add attacks that are affected by luck too. Cool. Ooh, what was that? Let's boost slash. More combo heads. Uh 
Aha! Thrust is back. So that's another strength based character. Increases strength dex, increases hit points. Yeah, let's go with that. It sounds like you folks have a lot, uh, a lot of extra stuff coming up for the game then. Sounds good. So watch the space chat. <laughs> so I'm sure that we'll do a few more streams check in from time to time on the updates. Well, there we go. We're cranking out the damage now. Oh, boss up. Where are you at? Let's be out on you. looking good. Okay, not doing too bad with boss damage, so let's focus on more of the main stuff rather than Bram's Helm. Won't say more. No to more Ram's Helm though. <laughs> So, Sarabi says, so far since the next fest, we've been slamming out more quality of life stuff, tweaks, stuff that folks have been asking for. Can't wait to start adding more new stuff. Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> I think it's like that with any project, isn't it? You know, you get that sort of initial rush and then it's sort of following stuff up and then you know, there's always that urge to do more, but um, it, it's it's good to get the fundamentals in first. Do a re-roll on that. Let's go with Gogan. Increases slash damage. Works with everything. Lovely. Let's go more towards strike. More bigger axes. Like, there's a nice synergy on this party. I think that is an equipment shot to the south. Okay, so longsword increases size of strength based attacks again. Yeah, we gotta do that. We gotta see how large we can get these axes. <laughs> Comedy oversized axes. Uh, ooh, more attack speed. Hmm. 
another boss coming up. Let's see how this one goes. Oh, we're taking some damage there. Paying more attention to all these bullets flying around. And okay, let's take Bram's helm. Can I get the boss leaks? Oh, it's looking good. More Bram's helm, more longsword, more gloom. Looking around, see if I can find any health potions. the damage. So we've got unique enemies as well. I don't think we've seen these pumpkin guys before. I, I do like the character design in this. through the run. Still haven't found any healing potions. Ba -ba -ba. Decrease cooldown for strength based attacks. That sounds like a winner. around for power-ups. Uh, increases hit points. That sounds like a good plan. on its max levels. Got good progress on the main attacks. About halfway through on the extra party members. Okay, so let's see what's in the boss chest.
Okay, more battle. Can't complain. Let's get my cool down. Ooh, that's a good question, Cheap Sweets. <laughs> Cheap Sweets asks, so maybe, do you have any favourite characters or builds in the game so far yourself? Okay, so increases size of strength based attacks. Look back at attack speed. Yeah, some of the game says, I love the Paladin. I don't think that's what we've tried out yet. No, we tried out the Cleric. I, I very much enjoyed the Holy Ring build. I think we brought the Paladin along for the ride on that one. Well, seems timely. Oh, we got a health potion. Get it, get it, get it. damage. So it seems to be doing too bad with the general mobs right now. Ooh, wowzers. Okay. You're saying a new character. You're just in the process of adding be available just for the streamer build though. We did a summer ed mum. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, so many levels. Oh the big fluffy dogs! <laughs> I know summer <Samoyeds. laughs> I'll have an attack called Poppy Zoomies. <laughs> Excellent. Oh my goodness, we've got so many levels. Mm, bu -bu -bu -bum. Oh my, that's a lot. Okay, so longsword is maxed out. Bear claw is maxed out. More longsword, more frist, and let's max out slash attack as well. Always attacking. Very close to finishing axe. There we go. Oh, that feels that feels much better. of all the max down. Couple more levels on for us to go. Be 
けどな
I say whether you're lurking or whether you're in chat, you're always welcome here. I think that's the final boss, but let's get it out of the way before the big guy shows up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See, depending on the, how this medical business pans out, hopefully I'll be on tomorrow. If I'm not, then I got sicker. <laughs> but if I am, which I hope I am, then I think we'll be carrying on our playthrough of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. I'm making some good progress through that the last few weeks. Got some of the um, secret campaigns to get through as well. Area boss spawns, here we go. Okay, let's get some of these extra bosses out of the way. That's one down. Okay, it always adds potions. Let's get this one out of the way. Oh, that one's taken a lot of hits. There you go, the axes. Little bit of damage off the main boss already. You love to see it. Uh, run away! <laughs> okay, final battle time. Ooh, that health bar's barely going down. Do, do, you, do you see what I did there, chat? Because it's a bear? <laughs> I, I don't think he's how clever that pong was. <laughs> oh, oh, chat does know. <laughs> ah, oh, <no. laughs> that was entirely my own hubris. I was basking in the glory of my pun. <laughs> that was an inglorious end. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> do, do, do you see how clever I am, chat? Do you see how clever I am walking into the boss? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I would be embarrassed if it wasn't so funny. <laughs> That'll teach me. <laughs> okay, let's take some equips. Uh, let's save the coins for these bigger unlocks. Actually, let's take some more projectiles. Oh, uh, I... Uh, no, I can't end it on that. <laughs> oh, that was bad. <laughs> okay, let's try one more for the road then. Well, we've been doing them all in order. Actually, I don't think we've done Cecile. I gotta keep you on your toes, chat. You know, I mean, you thought you thought I had it in the bag, but you know, I gotta keep the excitement going. You know, I gotta stay unpredictable. Okay, let's try Cecile. Oh my goodness me! Let's try the frozen peaks. And let's change up the music. What do we think? I haven't done J-pop for a while. 
ominous glowing red candles. Okay, so this is a magic based character. Let's try doing a reroll then, since we know we can do it each time. And let's go for magic missile. It's really nice to know that you can do that each time. And uh, bum 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 bum. Yeah, we'll go for magic once again. Okay, so some attacks have elemental damage, like Cecile's Ice Hammer. Damage was affected by the element of the enemy. Ah, okay. So Ice Slimes will take less damage, Wind Enemies will take more damage. I gotcha. So taking Ice Hammer in the Ice level was probably a bad plan. <laughs> White numbers are the base, no element damage. Blue numbers are the ice damage. The magic missiles only do magic elemental damage, so the numbers are all pink. I gotcha. Ah, more ice attacks. <laughs> Sounds good then. Let's get this other party member going. Hero increases magic lock, increases fire damage. Yes. I presume these orange ones are fire slimes then. Presume these little red guys are fire mages, maybe? Hmm. 
another party member up. Definitely be the last run for me tonight. It's uh, it's cat feeding time. <laughs> She'll be fine with me running a little bit over time, but uh, if I do another run, I think she might chew my toes off. <laughs> See who we got. Let's do a reroll on that. Ah. Oh, that's not good. Okay, let's do the reverse of what we did before then. Let's bring the cleric along. Which comes with our own tiny holy circle. I see. So you made it so that uh, you could only pick up health items if you were at less than max health. Yes. <laughs> I, I too find it incredibly frustrating when you're playing, you know, uh, like old arcade games. You're like, ah, that was a waste of a good floor chicken. <laughs> bosses at a time. Let's pick it up. Okay, let's go get the upgrade. The bosses will follow us. member ready to go as well but let's go get the yellow exclamation mark first i think that's equipment yes oh decrease this cooldown yes the magic based attacks that sounds great Always rather take attack speed than damage. There we go, here's the village. Oh, it's Galadar time. That works. Yeah, I think that's all of our slots filled out. Just leveling up now. slots didn't we for equipment so we have another equipment shop popped up just gonna grab a slug a drink Defense against bosses. 
Yeah, let's go with it. Some more Galadar. I haven't lowered him that much. This all speed sounds good. wheel has been uh, increasingly temperamental and this week I've just started to click on things and it's like did I not press hard enough <laughs> so I've had it for a good couple of years now so Considering I use it every day, it's held up pretty well. The problem is, I always have difficulty finding a mouse that's the right size for my hands. For some reason, so many mice are like giant size. And I just find they cramp my hands up a lot more. I must have a weird mouse grip or something. <laughs> tempted to go get the mice with, you know, all the buttons! Oh, I'm going to use all the shortcut buttons! Oh, I'm going to get one of those MMO mice, they've got like 12 buttons on. Now I never end up using them. <laughs> oh, taking some damage. I think. We got another equipment slot to go. Let's go pick that up. The bosses can follow us. You know, if they want to. No pressure, bosses. You can take some time off if you want. Bosses say, no, no, we're fine. <laughs> Increases the number of projectiles or or Ram's helm. Oh. I'm not doing great against these bosses. I'm gonna go with Ram's helm. Let's 
soil. Fall over. You've had a good run. There we go. Yeah. Let's start increasing our number a bit, actually. Of course, I'm increasing the damage against bosses, and I'm having difficulty getting through the main mobs to reach the bosses. Fix on the basics of it then. More magic missiles, a good start. Oh my goodness! Oh, they're coming in thick and fast! Oh, it's not looking good! <laughs> Increase vitality. Focus on survivability for a bit. Another boss comes up. Uh, fireball. Can I escape? Magic missiles. Yep. Ouch. I can see a healing potion somewhere in that pile of the monsters. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, this one keeps you on your toes, chat, I tell you. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess, I need to work on leveling up the fundamentals a bit more before I stray out into the outer levels. Uh, I, I desperately want to finish on a victory, but uh, kitty feeding time waits for no man. She's uh, she's getting real hungry and real moody. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna call it here for today. If you give me a moment, I'm gonna see whether there is anybody to raid. In fact, I know there's somebody to raid today because. I think that Retro Gaming Live TV is doing waffles today, which is most excellent news. Always a good time over there. So, once again, this was a sponsored stream. Let me put the disclaimer into chat once again. Thank you very much again to Summer B Games and Keymailer for the opportunity. And thank you very much, Summer B Games, for dropping in and following. I say it, whether you've been lurking or whether you've been in chat, you're always welcome here and thank you very much for hanging out with us. Um, we're on um, YouTube and Tumblr as well, also Mastodon actually, you know, so if you want more, feel free to hang out with us over there. This has been a fun night. I think we'll definitely be coming in and checking on this one again when there's some more updates. Ah, there you go, you got some... Uh, Wish lists going on already. Good news, good news. Okay, I'm gonna get this raider rolling. Press raid button. Pick channel to raid. Retro gaming. Live TV. Go say hi from me. I'll be in there shortly. But uh, yeah, that'll be it for me tonight. I've been Everyday Bear. You've been awesome. See you again, everyone. Take care.